Good morning, students. Earlier, we have discussed about the graph-based protocols, and we have given, we have discussed two examples for your better understanding. Now, we'll discuss about the timestamp-based protocols. What is the drawback of the graph-based protocol or earlier locking-based protocols is that you should know the order of execution prior. Whereas in timestamp-based protocol, you should not know the order of execution of the operations in the transaction. Only thing is that you should know which transaction has entered first and which transaction entered second. That is obviously we will come to know. So the timestamp based protocol works in the simple principle says that the ordering among the transactions. If you have a schedule T1 and T2. Now which transaction should be executed first? Which transaction should be executed first? Second, we will come to know based on the timestamps. The ordering among the transactions in a schedule is determined in advance based on the timestamps. So, what is the meaning for this one? Is that each transaction we will give a timestamp. Based on the timestamp, we can identify what is the order. To understand in a proper way, let me give a small example. You have a schedule S1 which is having a two transaction, transaction T1 and transaction T2. There is a read operation, after that there is a read operation and there is a write operation. So the transaction T1 having two operations, read and write, whereas the transaction T2 having a single operation called read only. Now how can we find the timestamps? If you see that for a system, if when you are executing a schedule S1, transaction T1 is started first, then transaction T2 because transaction T1 is entered into the system first. So the timestamp, each transaction we will give a timestamp, we can represent, it is, a, it is a number, okay, I do not say that it is an integer or whatever, it is an, a number which gives that which one is the highest order. Now timestamp of this one will have some value, okay. So Transaction 1 will have less value, let's take that it entered at 9 o'clock or some number 9 and transaction T2 has entered later so it will have a some number which is greater than the 9 so it will be having some 10 so based on this one we can identify which transaction is executed first which transaction should be executed next so this is the timestamp using this timestamp we will come to know that which transaction should be executed first which transaction should be executed later. Okay, so I hope you have understood what is a timestamp based protocol because for a given schedule, based on which transaction have the less timestamp. Always please remember that transact timestamp of one will be greater than, sorry, it's less than two because the number, whatever the number, this will be less than this number. So you have to execute this one and then you have to execute this transaction. So you will come to know the serial executability also because transaction 1 should be executed then transaction T2. Okay. Now we will discuss about timestamp ordering protocol. Now please remember one thing. In timestamp based protocol, we are saying that any serialized protocol, because this is a non serial schedule. Now, if you are finding the equivalent schedule, always it should be T1 and T2. T2 to T1 is not allowed because according to the timestamp, first T1 transaction should be executed, then T2 transaction should be executed. This only allowed, this is not allowed. Why? Because now, our T2 transaction has entered late, so it should not execute T2 first, then T1. Always it should execute transaction 1, then transaction 2. That is what the order protocol we will see. Now you can ask me, sir, if any operation is saying transaction T2, transaction T1, then what should I do? Because in conflicts, when we draw the polygraph, we will find an equivalent schedule this one or equivalent schedule this one. If we find this one, is well okay. If we find this one, then what should we do? We have to reject the transaction or we have to reject the transaction and then we have to roll back. Now let me discuss with an example. Let me take this example only for your better understanding. Okay. Now we will draw the polygraph. Transaction 1, transaction 2. Two transactions are there. So we will have two nodes in the polygraph. Read, read. It is not a conflict operation. Read. Right, it is a conflict operation. So what it says, right, read to because it is a transaction two on A, 
right on A. So it is saying that transaction 2, transaction 1, whether it is allowed or not. It is not allowed. Why? Because transaction 1 has entered into the system first. So it should execute all its operation then T2. But this is saying that transaction T2, transaction 1. Meaning is that it is saying that first transaction T2 should execute then transaction T1. So it is violating the timestamp all of it. Okay, then what should I do? What we should do is that why this problem came? This problem came because of this write operation. Because this write operation is there. So this read and this write have a conflict. So the order is saying transaction T2, transaction 1. Then what should I do? We should not execute this write operation and we should do the rollback. I think everyone know what is meant by rollback. Rollback means in this that all the operations in transaction T1 will be rolled back. Once it is rolled back, again it will be executed after some time. So let's take that it is executed now. Now if it is executed now see, please listen carefully again. We Because of this operation, it is saying that transaction T and transaction T2 and then transaction T1 which is not allowed because always transaction 1 should execute first all the operations in the transaction 1 should be executed then the operations in transaction 2 should be executed so because of this one it, the problem is created so we should not execute this operation and we should go roll back once it is rolled back then again we will execute this one now we will execute like this review because why i am saying is that please listen once we roll back then what will happen whose timestamp will come first because first it was 9, then it was 10. Now again, I am giving some timestamp because tra transaction 1 is executed first, so I am giving a number which is less than the transaction T2 timestamp. So now it was rolled back. So again it is coming back. Now what will be the order? What is the timestamp of this one? Uh, obviously the timestamp of the transaction 1 should be more than the transaction 2 because you have roll back and then again you are starting executing so obviously transaction t2 has entered first so let me give transaction t1 a timestamp 11 now what will happen whether there is a problem any problem is there now if you see read 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 write if you draw the polygraph also read read is not a conflict read write is a conflict so what it is saying transaction t2 and transaction 1 according to timestamp also we can say the transaction t2 and transaction 1 so this is not permitted if you want to find the equivalent we have to do like this so i hope you have understood one example for a timestamp based product a timestamp order protocol and timestamp based protocol I hope you would have understood a little bit. For better understanding, I will give a few more examples so that you can understand in a proper way. Okay? Thank you.